Hey there. Today I want to talk about a crucial yet often overlooked aspect of research ontology. Now don't let the term scare you off. Ontology is simply the study or theory of existence and reality as understood by the researcher. So what does this mean in practical terms? Well, ontology addresses some pretty fundamental questions, like what kinds of entities exist in the world and how they can be categorized. Essentially, it's about defining and classifying the nature of being, existence, and reality. First up, the existence of entities. Ontology considers whether entities like objects, events, and concepts have an independent existence, or if they're just constructs of human perception or language. It's a bit like asking if a tree makes a sound when it falls and no one's around to hear it. Next, we have the types of entities. Ontology explores what kinds of entities exist. Are we talking physical objects, abstract concepts, or social structures? This categorization helps us understand the different layers of reality. Then, there are the relations between entities. How do these entities relate to each other? Are there underlying principles that govern these relationships? This helps researchers figure out complex interconnections in their studies. Another key aspect is assumptions about reality. Researchers' ontological assumptions shape how they define research problems, collect data, and interpret findings. For instance, some might believe in a single objective reality, while others may see multiple subjective realities. Finally, there's the impact on research methods. Your ontological beliefs directly influence your choice of research methods. If you believe in a stable, objective reality, you might prefer quantitative methods. On the other hand, if you see reality as socially constructed, qualitative approaches might be your go-to. In a nutshell, ontology and research is all about understanding the nature of reality and existence. It lays the groundwork for what can be studied and how knowledge about the world can be acquired. So the next time you're diving into a research project, take a moment to think about your ontological stance. It could shape your entire approach. Thanks for watching, and as always, stay curious.